Hi, I'm Kathleen Stone, Director of Curriculum and Instructional Design at Empire State College. And I'm here with Kelly Herman, who is also at Empire State College. Hi, Kathleen. Um, as Kathleen said, I'm here at Empire State College. I'm the Director of Disability Services, and I've been here since 2005. I'm also involved with the Association on Higher Education and Disability, uh, and I co-chair the Special Interest Group on Online and Distance Education for the Association. Wonderful. Thank you, Kelly. Um, there's also some, uh, we've talked a little bit about the laws, right? But there's also some very specific ones. So, mm -hmm. for example, the ADA. Correct. What's the benefit then for, for students, or n and even if they're not a student, for right. anybody with a disability mm -hmm. of, of the ADA? Uh, I and think I guess we should say what the ADA is. Sure, mm -hmm. and, and absolutely. And the the ADA is the Americans with Disabilities Act, and it was passed in 1990, and then um, went through an amendments act that was passed in 2008. That kind of brought some of the standards up to the times, um, at least you know current times. Not necessarily in the technology world, but you know correcting some of the previous judicial decisions. So the Americans with Disabilities Act really has you know raised the awareness of what you know, it means to accommodate an individual with a disability. And I think has made it, you know, in the popular media especially, you know, that it's not something that's, com you know, someone's completely broken and, you know, they need a lot of fixes to be able to, you know, uh, interact with the environment. That there are certain things that we should do so that they can fully participate in society. So I think w all of us are more aware now of the, the need um, that some individuals with disabilities have. In higher education, I think it has opened up the doors for our students with disabilities to be able to access an education that they weren't previously able to access. You know, I talk to a lot of students, especially in the role that I play at Empire State College, who had tried college before and may have been in college before the ADA was passed and before 504 was, you know, fully understood and implemented, who said, none of this was available to me then. And if it had been, I might have already been able to get my degree and not here now. And, you know, it really is a, 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 you know, a journey for them and thinking through what could life could have been. And along with that, the advent of technology, you know, I think too, now that, you know, some of these lawsuits have been filed, the main benefit of them is not necessarily the, the wins and the victory, you know, or any, you know, um, you know, financial gain that might be had, but also raising awareness on the corporate side. You know, the Amazon Kindle as a result of that case because it affected their marketplace now is more accessible we've had successful legal action you know with Netflix about captioning of their streaming you know movies and you know for the individuals who are deaf those are all advancements that have been made possible because the ADA was passed in 1990 with really good bipartisan support and has been implemented really well so I think the benefit is is that it is it has allowed our society to become more inclusive and so that you know there are more opportunities for individuals to you know, seek out their education. I think the inclusive piece is a really important part. Mm -hmm. it, it's beneficial for all of us to right. have students and uh, of all backgrounds in uh, our courses. Absolutely, and I think you know we also can think of disability as an aspect of diversity. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about diversity and sometimes in terms of the w lines in which we're born into. So we may be a certain race, we're a certain gender. You know, we may you know you know uh, subscribe to a certain religion. And, you know, but disability is the one protected class that all of us at some point in our life can join. You know, I work with a lot of students who, you know, had been working in construction, fell off a ladder, broke their back, no longer can work in construction, didn't think that college was for them. But now since their injury, you know, they need to do something different so that they can support their family and provide for themselves. So they're coming back to college. And the ADA and 504 make that possible. Yeah. Great point. Yep. 